incredible. Not even 10 minutes down this trail and I came upon this lookout. It's a little bit higher than the beach below. You can, you can go all the way down to the beach. But I think this is where I want to take my picture this morning because you get a view of all those valleys lined up really nicely and you get a higher vantage point and I've put a telephoto lens on because it's just gonna compress the whole scene with those dramatic clouds on top and the sunrise is supposed to rise right above me right there so once the sun's gonna come out over the horizon maybe it's gonna pop it's gonna be crazy nice and I'm hoping that once the sun rises above the horizon that it's gonna project this nice light over all these cliffs so definitely this vantage point is what I'm going with this is the composition I'm going with and I'm just gonna stick with it and see what happens but I was definitely right about this place it's incredible I mean where else are you gonna find such valleys dramatic valleys all lined up and the way they line up across the whole ocean is just amazing and it's so calm here today it's just not a hint of wind I think I was right to come here for this spot it's just incredible I mean I'm shooting with a telephoto lens because it's actually helping compress the whole scene together bringing all these cliffs closer and I'm shooting it's a 70 millimeter because that's just I still want to include some of the shoreline and the beach and some of the sky and I'm shooting this at f8 at right now it's 2.5 seconds at ISO 50 so I got a polarizer filter on and a two-stop soft edge grad and D filter and that's just helping controlling the sky a little bit and it's coming out really really nice i do hope that the light's gonna do what i want it to do but even if it doesn't just being out here taking photos it's so relaxing it's such a joy to enjoy and this view this view is just amazing i mean check this out Wow, the light was just kicking off. I couldn't be happier to come here. It was so worth getting up at 3 a.m. to come here and driving two hours. I'm definitely, definitely happy with this shot. And I think it's just an amazing sunrise and I couldn't ask for a better, better sunrise. Man, this is looking amazing. Right now, the picture I'm taking is F8. One tenth of a second ISO 50 just giving me such an amazing photo I just love it up here it's really really beautiful and I switched out my uh, two-stop soft grad to a three-stop soft grad because when the Sun came out the, over the horizon the light was kind of harsh so I definitely needed a stronger ND but man what a sunrise what a morning it's kind of crazy though how the sunlight that nice gorgeous morning light just quickly come and gone like maybe it was like five minutes not even of nice light and then it was gone so basically you don't have that much time to get the shot you gotta shoot keep taking pictures and hopefully it will uh, you'll get one good one that you, one winner you know but definitely i think i got the shot and i couldn't be happier from the sunrise and i'm so glad i got up at 3 a.m today and i didn't just kind of sleep in as much as I wanted to, sometimes you just gotta kick yourself in the butt and get out there, go take pictures, drive. It's kind of crazy that, you know, I drove two hours and I just stood here for like five minutes of light. Oh, well, I'm super super happy all that drama was being sick for like a couple of days This made it all worthwhile this crazy amazing sunrise. I couldn't ask for anything better Now I can actually go drive back two hours and get some coffee get some breakfast and then decide what to do for later 
What a morning, what a sunrise, mm -hmm. just amazing. Like, uh, like a bike. You really gotta love these sink tank ties. I keep them on my hand and pretty much use them to tie my second tripod onto the bike. So definitely I don't have to carry it by my hand. So gotta love that. Here's a quick tip for you guys. Well, today after kind of taking a shower and resting a bit after that amazing sunrise, I kind of went going to a really touristy place. But I don't care because you can't really come to Hawaii on the big island and not go see this. So I'm going to the lava viewing point where I get to see the lava flow into the ocean. And currently I'm actually biking there and it's just a lot faster than walking. And I, if you guys know this landscape photographer, when he was here, he pretty much did the same thing. So Thomas Eaton, if you're watching this, I doubt it. Thank you for that quick tip. It's much, much appreciated. So basically today I'm kind of here. It does inspire me to take photos. So basically uh, today I'm following in his footsteps, trying to get a picture here at sunset of the lava flowing over the ocean. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm just gonna bike there and enjoy, enjoy the bike ride. Alrighty, see you in a bit. This is also gonna be my last sunset here in Hawaii on the big island. So I'm definitely sad about, you know, that tomorrow I'm traveling, but it's fine, I still get to see see the island and enjoy it. I definitely can see myself returning here in the near future for more photography and exploration because it's such a beautiful location. Well, it's definitely an interesting place here. I haven't even got to the lava flow yet. <coughs> kind of feel like I went to a different planet, like a Martian planet. Well, for sure, I'm gonna be hiking back in the in the dark. It's a good thing I brought a flashlight because it took a little longer than I expected to get there. So I'm not even sure how much more I have left, but the sun is almost below the horizon and I'm nowhere near set up. Well, I, journey. I bumped into the only humans on the way back and they actually told me that I missed the lava the lava flow by how much? By about two and a half kilometers. Two and a half kilometers. So I'm heading back towards it now, but I don't think I'll get a picture. I think this is the end of the road. It was fun. So thank you guys for almost getting a picture. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bye. <laughs> well, this kind of it. I completely missed the lava flow. It turns out it was more inland rather than flowing into the ocean. As I was hiking, I kept waiting to see some kind of pass to the ocean where I can see the lava flow but apparently it's more inland and I think I saw it it was a tiny dot in the land and it didn't look very promising so I hear this whole day planned around nothing really but I do see it now but it's kind of far and it's inland so not what I expected really but at night you do see it more it's like glowing across I'm gonna try to see if I can get closer and get a video of it but at least you guys can see that but I don't know at this point we'll see if it doesn't happen I'm gonna say goodbye right now I'm gonna go back to my bike and bike back to the car and head home all right see you guys signing off bye hey everyone so I just wanted today is pretty much the next day I wanted to recap as to what happened last night the thing is that when I was hiking there, when I was planning the whole day, the whole shoot, I was just 
thinking I'm gonna go see lava flow into the ocean. Because all the videos I've seen, all the stuff I've seen before, even the Thomas Heaton video, where he went there, he went to photograph lava flowing into the ocean. So in my head, I was fixated on that idea. Anyway, what happened is that, you know, it was naive of me to think that I would expect to see that because lava flows, it changes apparently. Because I spoke to the park warden and he said, sometimes it flows into the ocean, sometimes it flows inland. So it was flowing inland. And since I was hiking during the day, <coughs> I pretty much didn't see it. All I saw was smoke across the horizon and I'm like, okay, I'll just keep walking and eventually I'm gonna see a trail that leads down to the ocean and I'll, I'll get there, you know? But I should have known because when I was hiking there, there was like no sign of people. So I, I should have known that I was on the wrong, wrong track. Thank God I bumped into some people coming in from the other side to view the lava and they're like, oh, it's back there. So I'm like, okay, I'll turn back. So in the end, when I was hiking back at night, I did see a glimpse of, the, I did see a little bit of it, but it was far from me and I had to make it back, so it's fine, you know. When I was walking, I walked for way more than that. I actually hiked like eight kilometers, I think, going and coming back, not including the bike ride. So at the end of the day, when I got back to my car, I was like beat, I was exhausted. I didn't, couldn't even get up to make sunrise this morning. So pretty much I just got up really late I packed my stuff and I'm ready to go to the airport in a bit but uh, my, my flights are not until a couple of hours so I think I'm just gonna go chill by a beach somewhere just killing some time because I have to check out of the hotel so I guess the lesson is here is first do research research well a prop uh, a location I mean I've always researched locations before going but this one for some reason I just went like just w willingly you know I didn't even re do proper research and I was so fixated on that idea in my head so even if you have a certain thing you want to see do ask the right questions and do plan ahead because <coughs> you can whatever happened to me can happen to anybody and it's just a totally understandable so it's fine it was actually a kind of a fun adventure in the end and I got some exercise out of it so can't really complain just make some research but even if I, if I had went to the right trail, it wasn't what I was anticipating. I wanted to see lava flow into the ocean and I couldn't get that even if I had wanted to with all my, with all my guts because it just wasn't happening, it was flowing inland. So that's it for my trip. I hope you guys liked these videos from Hawaii. Sorry there wasn't any more, but you know, with everything that happened to me, that's all I could do for, the, for this time. But I can definitely see myself returning here because it's a, such a beautiful location. I recommend all of you guys visit one time or maybe two times and uh, let me know, maybe I'll join you. All right, thank you guys for watching and until next time, see ya.